Let's talk to John Kirkland. John mm -hmm. Kirkland, market expert. He is a uh, he is an equity investor in microcap public companies. Iron Ridge Global uh, uh, is is a is a well known name with publicly traded companies. There's his websites. Uh, John, so so if you were to put in your uh, put on your uh, your Swami hat and look at the crystal ball, what would you say the rest of the year is going to look like, sir? Well, traditionally, end of the year slows down. People are worried about uh, eating turkey and giving presents, and they're not so focused on the market. Now. When is the, when, when is the actual you know official pullback start? Is about is about December seventh, December fifteenth? Because I know there's some tax lock selling that goes on, but. What, what, it's going to be next week is going to slow down, and then it'll be normal for a couple of weeks, and then the last couple of weeks of the year will slow down. And really what you have then is people on vacation, and so there's no buying, and then you have year-end tax selling. So typically the market dips toward the end of the year. The, um, um, the interesting thing uh, for me, of course, is, is if you look at, uh, at 50,000-foot view, mm -hmm. I try to compare when I talk to John. The activity of small cap, micro cap stops, stocks versus Nasdaq, uh, Dow stocks. Micro cap stocks don't seem to pay attention to that, do they, John? Micro cap stocks are much more driven by the individual company than they are by macro factors, mm -hmm. except when they aren't. Okay, so okay. Okay, except when they aren't. Talk to us about. Uh, talk to us. Uh, give, give us some examples of that. For <laughs> if like, it's a company that's that's tied specifically to something like the marijuana companies, if there's big marijuana news, yeah. then their stock's going to go through the roof. If it's a company that's focused on homeland security and there's a security threat, then their stock goes through the roof. Oh yeah. Okay, simple as that. Okay, and, and also uh, we did talk about tax tax end of year selling, and we're gonna have Michael Rosbrook. Uh, on the air with us uh, here in the next couple of weeks from uh, from the founder of Tax Resolution Services to talk about that. But that's that's a real defense, isn't it? Uh, you, you can only write off $3,000 of your losses, but you can write off 100% of your losses against your gains. So, you know, in other words, if you make $50,000 in the stock market, but you lose $50,000 in, you know, in, in another stock, you can... Yeah, uh, you can, they offset, and people do that. When, when does and the tax when, selling is really just a consolation prize? It doesn't do you any good at all unless you've lost money. So <laughs> yeah, so you lost money. So here's a little bonus. Well, I mean, yeah, unless you've lost. Is yeah. it only in stocks, or can you say oh, I lost money over here at the track, or my you know my house uh, <laughs> went out? So is is that a loss that you can say? And I lost. Well, you're, that's the passive loss rules that basically say that if you lose money, it's you can only offset gains against a similar loss. So. Uh oh. It, Similar. It's really just a way for the government to uh, not let you get to write off things you should be able to. Write <laughs> yeah. Off. I, and if you made all kinds of money this year, yeah. and then and then you and, and let's say you made all money, let's say you made all kinds of money at the at the track, right. Like you mentioned, but sure. you lost your butt in the stock market. Yeah. You can only write off three thousand uh, dollars. That's it. Three thousand so dollars. I don't understand. I, I, I never really understood that, John. Why why you couldn't why you couldn't write off all your life. I guess because it's an investment. You took the risk. Why should the government pay for it, right? <laughs> oh no, that's much too rational. It's because the government wants your money, and so they expect <laughs> right. you to pull for themselves. Yeah. Which is the answer to pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, John and John Kirkland's going to write a new book, book called "Because the, the Government, government Wants Your, your money. money" by John Kirkland. Thank you. Uh, John, let's uh, uh, let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, uh, the uh, the offshore tax breaks that have been in the news lately. Um, well, the, guy, the, the big funds, you know, can take advantage of of going offshore or the ultimate one, the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is an island, but it's part of the United States. Mm -hmm. But if you've got a profitable business, any kind of profitable business, including, you know, for me, an, uh, an investment fund, you move it to the U.S. Virgin Islands, you save 90 percent in your taxes. Now, are, are you scrutinized? Because you've heard what? of you've heard of, you know. Uh, the IRS and these Swiss bank accounts and offshore accounts. I mean, are you scrutinized further? I mean, is that is that is that playing within the rules or is that playing in the gray, John? It is absolutely within the rules. What happens is people pretend to move to the Virgin Islands and then try to take the tax break, and that's just tax fraud. If you actually go there, if you actually move your business there, then it's it's within the tax code. They encourage it. It's there to encourage investment in places like the Virgin Islands that need investment. And to draw money into the U.S. economy <laughs> instead of going offshore, the big running off to Ireland, which big. is beautiful this time of year. I'm having like, an epiphany here. here. What the hell am I doing in San Diego? You know, in the, well, in the, you know, in the beginning of the program, when I always say live from the Jump Studios in sunny San Diego, California, yes. it's going to be live from the Jump Studios in the sunny Virgin Islands. Sunny yeah. St. Thomas. <laughs> St. Thomas. I love St. Thomas. off sale is a good deal. Yeah. See? Good God. How, the bag. how many shows do we have to do from there, John? <laughs> exactly. Half. Half plus one. Half plus one. Half plus one. All right, I got my stuff. Let's go. <laughs> John Kirkland uh, is the uh, is the founder, and he's the uh, he's the big cheese over at uh, over at Iron Ridge Global. 
uh, Iron Ridge Global funds uh, publicly traded companies in the, in the small cap, micro cap sector. Um, the uh, the the other issue, John, to talk about for the tax loss selling before we let you out of here is long term gains versus short term gains. That's a big, that's an important one, is it not? Well, it can be. If basically, if you hold a stock for more than a year and you sell it for a profit, you're going to pay a lower tax rate than if you do flipping. Mm-hmm. And it's really just another benefit for what I always say, buy and hold. The longer you hold it, the better off you're going to be from a tax perspective and the better off you're going to be from an investment perspective. In, in five so, years then, is there even a bigger tax uh, saving? No, it's just a year. Just a year. Okay. Just a year, yeah. <laughs> but and the other thing, too, what, 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 uh, don't don't let it go lost in what he just said. If you own right. a stock, let's say you buy Apple at 148 like you do and it oh. goes to $600, yeah. you're not taxed on it until you sell it. Right. See, and, and, that's, and, John, that's what we should talk about next time. A lot of the, big, the wealthy CEOs of major public companies who own a pile of stock, they're only taxed one time, and that's when they first sell a, a pile of stock because the rest of their stock, they borrow against mm-hmm. it. So they don't well, have to Zuckerberg th- sold when, he, when the IPO hit just to pay the taxes, and he'll never pay taxes again, probably. Exactly. He'll just borrow against it and make payments against, what, you know, against his holdings. John, thank you so much. I appreciate it. John Kirkland, Iron Ridge Global. Can you get your butt in San Diego now that uh, things are slowing down over there? I'd appreciate seeing your face in here at some point. You're not too far. I, and if we go to the Virgin Islands, I know we'll see you. My new address, <laughs> 16 Ocean Front Walk, Virgin in, uh, Islands.